Just a quick disclosure before we get started here. These are my opinions. They don't reflect the opinion of anyone else or anyone else who I represent. These are absolutely just my opinions. Take them as such. Also, there's some pretty harsh language here. Uh, so if you are not willing to listen to somebody cuss, that's fine. Don't watch the video because it will make you upset. What's up, everybody? This is Warpath 2 or Adam, and today... I gotta bring you a rant. I'm not happy right now with a couple of things that are going on, so... Going back to my roots of what I do in my personal life, and I know a couple of my uh, my Xbox friends can attest to this, is I'm going to rant about it a little bit. So uh, in the background, you're going to see another 3v3v3 uh, gameplay I got with my buddy The Foreign. Uh, so enjoy that. It was a pretty good game, basically on par with the previous one, but still has some really good action in it. Uh, but today I'm going to rant about something that really gets on my nerves, something I truly hate seeing all the time, and that is YouTube drama. I hate it. This this is so stupid that we attack each other. We have a community of people who attack each other and make videos for views on the subject. It's getting to a ridiculous point. So I'm going to talk about specifically one situation that's really gotten on my nerves recently. Um, I'm not going to be calling anybody out because that's stupid. I don't care what other people do on their channel, truthfully. But I do care when everybody starts attacking an individual or bullying an individual, really, for something that they're not even a victim of or for something that they didn't even do. So uh, that's really what I'm going to be talking about. And let's let's just get into it. I'm going to be talking about this whole Woody, Wings of Redemption, FPS Kyle, Keemstar bullshit that's going on. Um, this is dumb. This is 100% dumb. Who gives a crap where somebody is on somebody's recommended channels box? This is not fucking MySpace. This is YouTube. YouTube, it's a different community, it's a different thing. It doesn't mean because you're not in somebody's top five channels that they're not your friend or that they're not trying to support you. Hell, if I was in like number 30 on FBS Russia's channel, I'd be fucking jizzing myself everywhere because that's amazing. You're gonna get growth from it. But that's even besides the point. Wings of Redemption is not a victim in this situation. I really don't like the fact that Keemstar has gone against Wings of Redemption so often in the past and now says, hey, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the devil's advocate here and, and show that you are a victim. He's not a victim in this situation. There's a couple things that are factually inaccurate about the, the CPM amount that they're saying he's owed. Um, so number one, to assume that Woody's Gamertag has had the exact same CPM since PK has started, is dumb. It's factually inaccurate. There's no way he's made the full amount offered by Machinima for the full time he's been working, been a partner with him. It just doesn't work that way. You build up to something like that. So for that specific mathematical figure, it's stupid. Get that out of here. He doesn't owe him $45,000. Now on the second part of that, it's Woody's channel. He can decide to pay whoever he wants, whatever he wants. The biggest benefit that they're getting from this is that they're growing. So even though Wings of Redemption is a big channel, he still can stand to benefit from some of Woody's followers and some of his viewers and subs. It's just, it's what you do for a podcast. Now on another note with that, to say that Wings of Redemption has been victimized because he hasn't been paid for it, again, I don't think anybody's been paid for it. They don't pay guests to get on PK, to my knowledge. If they do, that would be cool. Uh, I'm definitely going to put in my application. <laughs> not, that, uh, not that that's going to matter, but... Why would you assume you're going to get paid for being a video on somebody else's channel? Now, aside from that, before the whole PK100, and I know not too long ago, Wings of Redemption himself was posting the, the PK stream on his own channel so people could go over and watch his side of things, which people have done. He did some things that only showed on his camera and some things like that, so he's earned some money from this too. He's not just a straight-up victim who's been doing this for free for, for the fun of it not getting paid. That's absolutely stupid. Um, I, I just don't understand why we continue to call each other out like this. I get if you don't like somebody, you're going to try and call them out to make sure that your point is heard and that your point is the one that matters. But that's dumb. That's, that's bullying. That's high school fighting. That's stupid shit that we continue to do. What's going to happen next? Some guy's going to get busted for sending nude pictures to a girl he dated six years ago in real life? Who gives a shit? This isn't TMZ. This isn't some stupid Hollywood bullshit, Access Hollywood or anything like that. This is YouTube. Be yourself. You shouldn't get punished for being yourself and being who you are. Don't be afraid to speak out on something that you don't think is right. 
but you shouldn't be seeking to destroy other people's channel. This is a community. This is not some sort of battle that we're all in. If one person grows, other people stand to grow from it. Other people stand to grow from those people. And it continues on. It's a trickle effect. You build a community right. You do it the right way. And you stop trying to b tear each other down. It's stupid. It's childish. And I can't believe that I have to point this out. But it really does make you look dumb when you make a video and you don't know what you're talking about. So anyways, guys. I'm going to stop it from there. Uh, I really... I really think there's not much more I can say on this topic other than I don't like it and I hope that people grow up a little bit and stop with all this fake trauma. Now if you want to report on something that happened like with the whole uh, the guy jerking it on Chatterbait that's fine because that's legitimate news but if you want to make stuff up in order to get a fake point across for someone you feel has been victimized think twice about it because it really just makes you look stupid. That's it, everyone. I'm going to stop it here. I think there may be a couple seconds left on the gameplay. Thanks again for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you didn't, tell me, and uh, I'll talk with you in the comments about it. Uh, but that's it, guys. Take it easy.